Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on the channel, Super Gaming Channel, and uh, as you'll see, all of my tools no longer have names, except this one, I need to name that one, because I don't want to have to read through the enchants every time I check to see if I have the right pickaxe out. But, I, I have died, it was off camera, uh, I was mining some magma blocks, I was like that one over there. And I tried to escape from a ghast and my elytra did not activate, so I fell in lava. And yeah, luckily nothing too valuable was lost that couldn't be replaced, like my bow. That was lost, but I can still replace that. And it seems to be turning night. So, uh, as you guys know, as you read the title, today we're working on a creeper farm. Uh, I can't remember whose design it was, but, uh, his link will be in the description box below. But that iron farm that we built, yes, er, not yesterday, in last episode, um, it's really effective, guys. It is so effective, at least for a bedrock iron farm. Uh, I went AFK overnight at it twice, and I got about 20 iron blocks plus some iron every night. I am still... Whoa, hello, sir. Uh, I am still sick, so sorry if I cough a bit. Uh, it's not my fault, it's my, my cold's fault. But let's see, got our infinite water source there. Uh, so first things first is we need to start work on this top bit right in here. Which is four blocks out on every side. So I want to show you guys more like the building process, uh, especially in like these videos where I'm building big farms. Like in the iron farm, you didn't get to see too much of the actual building process, which I was actually kind of sad about because, uh, well, I worked really hard on it, and also I got a really cool new headset for t about. Fifteen dollars, because I had a gift card, and well, I also had like a couple coupons, and yeah, so I saved money on that. It was originally like thirty dollars, so I saved a lot of money, and then yeah, okay, this is almost done I just gotta build up the walls okay and then one two I can't remember if the walls were supposed to be too high or just one high yo you over there all your friends are about to be murdered in here how does that make you feel sad good Actually, it's, it's sad. Uh, it's it's sad until you think about what they do. They literally blow up everything you own. Let's see. I do not have any water buckets on me. Where are they? Uh, I've got mending back on everything and efficiency. And I've also found a really good use for all the string that we had. Uh, over there. So the f the Fletcher actually trades for string. So I can get emeralds f by selling him my string. Which we have a lot of that. And I'm planning on going AFK here tonight. A g oh, okay. I thought that was one off. But I wasn't, it was perfectly right on, as all things should be. Wait. Shoot. 
Crap. Where, where did I go wrong? What side? Let's see. One, two, th this side. I only went three out. Okay, ooh, crap, no, no, no. Don't destroy the farm, that's gonna kill all your friends. I'm working hard on it. Okay, um... I was worried about that, and then... I looked at it and it seemed to be fine. So... Okay. And then... Break all... That... Okay, so we've got the... Second... Fill-in chamber... All done, and I'm starting work... On the... Third... Right now, so this needs to go eight... One, two, three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight. So the reason I'm building this over by the iron farm is because I kind of want to center all of the farms over in like one area. So I know I have the sugar cane farm over there, but I'm going to build a melon and pumpkin farm over here. And I'm also going to build a uh, bigger sugar cane farm over here that'll get about like uh a stack every time it goes no not that effective but it'll get like a just about a uh let's see I'm doing the maths in my head it should be about half a chest every AFK every time I go AFK it's really just for, uh, this. Just for the creeper farm. Just so it's easier to get paper and stuff. So I don't have to go to AFK two nights in a row. You just to get enough stuff to last for a couple of episodes. But, you know, this creeper farm is actually going to be really effective for Bedrock. Not for Java. If you're building <laughs> on Java, then do not use this design. It is very ineffective compared to most Java designs out there. I don't know, there's some pretty ineffective Java designs. But it seems that we're almost done with this side of the containment chamber, the killing chamber. That's because we are done with it. So I'm going to finish up this side and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, so I have started work on the spawning spaces and uh, well I think it's coming along pretty well. Uh, hopefully you guys agree but I may have to sleep soon is that right? that is okay alright I may have to sleep soon cause it looks like the sun's going down and it's raining which is terrible for videos and um, that's off the edge, isn't it? Yeah, that was off the edge. Okay. Throw in these. Uh, I'm making this out of wood because I don't have very much, like, stone or anything like that. And it doesn't really matter what block you use as long as it is a spawnable block, as in mobs can indeed spawn on that block which birch planks have the ability to let mobs spawn on them 
I just realized I totally forgot to get slabs. Which, that's one of the final steps. So I won't worry about it too much. So I'm going to hurry hop down and sleep. Oh. Something I am not too happy about is that I no longer have feather falling on my boots which is something I used so much. Feather falling 3 is probably one of the most useful enchants. Leave my villagers alone. Okay, fall. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. See what I'm talking about, guys? So I'm going to finish up a couple more layers, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right, guys, so I'm working on the final layer right now. I'm doing the roof for it right now. And then that goes there. So I'm doing the roof for it right now, and I really didn't get to show you guys as much as of the building as I wanted to but you know it's fine give me that and then keep going out to here but anyways uh, I figured out who the uh, the guy was I forgot his name but the link will be to his channel in the description uh, make sure to go check him out he does amazing tutorials and uh, his creeper farm should hopefully still work. It was made three months ago, so not too long ago. But I don't think that 1.5 was introduced then. So it may not work due to just like changes that they made. But I'm sure it will. Because, yeah, why wouldn't it? Um, that's one off, but I'm just finishing up the roof, and the basic gist of the idea is, uh, so creepers can only spawn, or creepers can spawn under trap doors, so what we're doing is, uh, we're just placing in the ceiling, and then we place down trap doors, <coughs> 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 Excuse me, under the ceiling, which allows uh, creepers to spawn, but spiders can spawn as well, which is what these here are for. So you just place those down where this, like every other block or so. So, like, there is these there. You just go boom, boom, and boom, and then it's just a one block gap in between every placement. And then there is some uh, slabs which I have forgotten to put in on the edges of every layer but I know what to do with those so I'm gonna throw those in uh, just at the very end right before we throw in the hopper clock that goes to the very top triggering the water only when we want it to be triggered and then throw that there so I'm gonna finish up this final layer and I'll see you guys when all that is done and dusted. Alright guys, Ooh, I have finished up with the uh, farm. It's all done. It's really slow and I'm kind of afraid it may not work. So I'm going to have to go check with the video that I'm basing this design around. Which actually I stole the design from the video. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen any creepers spawn in it yet, but hopefully some will. I'm actually going to check the chest just to see. This thing's been built for about 15 minutes. Yeah, nothing has come through and died yet. So I'm going to check with the video, uh, maybe message the guy, see if this design actually works in 1.15. Hopefully it does. But other than that, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, because I sure did. Uh, I'm pretty sure this episode is going to be pretty short. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.